Welcome back, one and all. This is 100 Visions Guy, and I want to pick up where we left off for my computer game design class. We were talking about Git and how to, uh, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to grab someone else's Git repository, download it, extract the files, and then create your own fork of it by creating an online repository. And at this point, I'm looking at my period one shooting gallery game on the online repository. I put mine on Bitbucket. And if I click on commits, we can see just a brief history of what I did. We had added initial files. We added the whole, which was an object. We did that today. And so um, I have some work at school. And what I want to do is I'm going to go home and get my work um, from school to my home computer. So on the left, it represents the school computer. The right represents my home computer. Notice I even have a folder called my home computer to help you understand that. So I've also created an illustration to help you out. So on the left is school, on the right is my home computer, and through the magic of Paint 3D, oh yeah, that's right, I wanna show you what's going on. So at home, we created this repository, right? Or I'm sorry, it's school. Ah, okay, I'm at school, I do my work. And then remember I connected to the online repository and so I'll do a little dot, that is really ugly. Okay, so we have this connection here, right? It's all connected, okay. So I'm gonna use red, I guess, to represent um, the work I'm doing. So I do some work at school and then basically I send my changes to the online repository. That is called a push and that is the letter U. Yes, that's true. I'm not too good at this. Okay, then, um, I have it online, and what I want to do is get the work from online onto my home computer, and so that's called a pull. So if you understand the difference between a push and a pull, you're going to be pretty good. But in order to do this, I need my home computer connected to the online repository, and it's going to be very similar to what we did before uh, to connect it. We're going to use a con the way we're going to connect is get remote add, get remote add. So it's a remote. Add. Look at that color coding. The remote add is what basically connects it. Okay, so let's do that now. So here's my home computer. It's got no folder. The first thing I want to do is create a folder. So I'm going to call this shooting, I'll call it my home shooting gallery repo. Okay? Doesn't matter what I name it as long as I connect to the repository. So what I'm gonna do is, in order to connect, I need to initialize it. So I'm just gonna right click on that folder to choose git bash here, and I'm gonna type a git in it. Okay, so I, I see it says home shooting gallery, repo, master. So there we are. Okay, so I'm almost there. So what I wanna do now is I wanna get my, I need to get my um, cloning address. I'm gonna just go straight to the project here, and I'm going to click clone. And one of the things you're going to notice is you got all this, you got this whole message here that um, if you see the whole string, it's going to say git clone, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see what happens if I do HTTPS. Is it the same thing or does it just give me the address? Well, anyway, I just want to get this part. So I'm just going to copy. Yeah, it still does. Um, so I can do HTTPS, or in this case, SSH. I'm using SSH, but I don't think it will matter. If it were you, I think, unless you're using SSH, I would just do uh, the HTTPS. And so now I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to copy that, Control-C. And I'm going to have to check when I get, get that. Uh, okay, so notice it says my home computer. So now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to type git remote add origin. And then I'm going to do shift insert to paste. And it should start with git at bitbucket.org and it should end with a dot git. Okay. And obviously yours is going to be different because you gave it a different repository. You have a different username. So remember the copy and paste is what you want. And I know it's kind of a pain on there, but uh, that should do. All right. So this now has, I've made my connection to the online repository. So now all I have to do is do a git pull, git pull origin master. I just want to remind you the word origin represents the online repository and master represents the branch I want to pull. Hit enter. It's probably going to ask for a passphrase because it's been doing that to me. Uh, 
And remote compressing object, when you see all that stuff appear, that's a good sign. So let's go over to my home computer and let's take a look. All right, so now what's cool is I actually have my project backed up on three locations. I have the home shooting gallery repo, I have the online repo, I'm just gonna close that, and then I have my school repo. Okay, so now I have the school and home. And right now they should all be synced up. They should have exactly the same. One of the ways we can find out is we're gonna look at objects. Notice it has object hole. I click over objects over here, object hole. And I actually know that I have the exact same project uh, because I just cloned it. I just basically, I'm sorry, I didn't clone it. I, I connected to the repo and then I pulled. Now, uh, a couple things. You can only do this if it's your account and you have the username and password. And it may ask you for username and password, so make sure you deal with that. All right, so let's talk about this. Now, I wanna go into my home pro project. Let's say I'm at home and I'm, I do some work, okay? So I already have my assets and let's just create one more object for the crosshair. So I'm just gonna create an object and give it a sprite. And then um, I'm gonna need to commit my changes and push it to the repo. And so, um, so I'm gonna go over to objects, I click on here, and I have the one for object hole. I'm gonna right click on here and create object. Okay, and I'm gonna hit backspace, underscore, crosshair. And then I'm gonna cl click on here for the sprite, and I'm gonna get my crosshair sprite. And I click on it. Now, I'm, I'm gonna code it at some point, but for now I just wanna show you what happens when you make changes. So at this point, I have uncommitted changes on my home project. So let's go back to, uh, there's my school one. Here's my home one. On the home, you'll see in objects, I now have object crosshair. If I look at school, I don't have it. I need to get those changes, but I can't get the changes if I don't send the changes. There's not an automatic, they don't sync up automatically. And that's actually a good thing that allows multiple people to work on the project because then they're not going to suddenly get stuff appear from somewhere else. So it's up to you when it's time to get your stuff. Okay, so I did my um, get pull origin master. And by the way, this is like, this should be the first thing you do before you begin work. And I'll demo that when I'm on my quote unquote school computer. All right, so now I'm going to type get status and we should see some new items. We have two that are modified, one that's totally new. I'm just gonna add it all. Get add dot, get commit dash M, adding crosshair object. Right, very short, succinct, starts with an action verb, what it is that I did, and it all relates. So I have three files changed. I inserted 39 lines of code. I actually didn't do it, it was automatically done, but we get 30 line, 39 new lines of code um, on this project on my home computer. And they're all tracked on here, so I'm gonna do a get status, okay? So at this point, I've made my changes, I've made my commits. Um, let's say I gotta go, and um, you know, it's too late, I gotta go to bed, I gotta work on homework, uh, whatever. Or I'm like, okay, uh, I need to do something else. Um, but here's the thing, if I want that new change, on my school computer, the only way I'm gonna get, gonna get that is if I send these changes to my online repo. So now I'm gonna do a push, get push origin master. So there's get pull, pull stuff from the repo, push sends it. Get pull, I have to put in my password. Hopefully I got it right, there we go. All right, so now I did a push. So, did I push it to the repo? Let's find out. Here I go. I'm gonna hit refresh. It's hard to see, so I'm gonna click on commits. Right away, I see adding crosshair object. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna send the crosshair object, or I'm sorry, I don't wanna send it, I wanna get it when I'm at school. So then I go, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. Exit, okay. So I, I'm done with my home folder, um, and then I'm gonna, you know, normally I'd click, click it, log out, do whatever. So now I'm at the school, and um, let's say I kind of forgot. I'm like not sure, did I, did I have anything new on the repository? I don't know. So I'm gonna do a git bash, I'm gonna open it up, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I cannot pull anything from the repo if there's any unsaved changes. So I'm gonna do a git status just to see what's going on. 
Fortunately, it says branch master, branch is up to date, nothing to commit. Now, the, this doesn't know that there's something new on the online repo. It just means that I don't have anything on this folder that I have not already sent. I hope that makes sense. So what I wanna do now is I wanna pull. So since there's nothing to commit, nothing to do, working tree clean, I'm gonna do a pull, git pull origin master. And it's gonna ask for my password again. And I just got it wrong, so I have to do it again. If I get it wrong twice, it kind of kicks me out and I have to start over again. All right, here we go. So I got some more objects and I go over here, double click on objects. There it is, object crosshair. So now I have it, so now I can work. So then again, you do the same thing. So you work on this computer and then you do your commits with the git add, the git commit, and then a git push. Okay, so remember that. Now, there's one last thing before I have you go. Before you push to the online repo, it's probably a good habit to get into is to make sure you've tested your project before you push. And there's one big guideline that I recommend and it's called don't break the build. And what I mean by that is if something is broken and you can't run your game and test it and actually test it out, you go to test it and it crashes or something, you're gonna to wanna to fix that before you send it to the online repo. It's a good idea to make sure the online repo only has working code. All right, so hopefully that works. Remember, get pull to grab from the repo, get push to send it. And in later tutorials, I'll show you how to deal with uh, what happens when you on each folder they're different some have some commit some have others how do you do that when they're not totally synced up and so stay tuned for that tutorial so thanks for watching stay tuned